Tell me a joke, Google. Why did the man name his dogs Rolex and Timex? Because they were watchdogs. <laughs> I guess it's a caliber joke for us. This is the Ford Ranger FX4. A lot of you have been requesting this review. You know, ever since Ford launched, you know, their the Ranger Raptor and the new Wildtrak, using the new engines such as the 2-liter bi-turbo and the 2-liter turbo. What a lot have been asking about this car is, next, this car is still using the 2.2-liter engine from before and it's also using the 6-speed transmission from before. Unlike the new ones, especially in the Wildtrak and on the Raptor, they're using 10-speed auto. To answer that, like in my opinion, the nice thing about it is that we still see those Ford Rangers, you know, with the 2.2-liter engines out on the road, you know, and they're doing just fine. Which means that, yes, it's old tech, but it's good tech. This new Ford Ranger FX4 uses the 2.2-liter turbocharged diesel engine that we're familiar with before. And this engine produces 160 brake horsepower and 284 pound-feet of torque. So even on such a small engine, it's a really powerful car. So I was looking, you know, in our buyer's guide, like, you know, the other trucks at this price point. What surprised me was if the other trucks in this category, so it's the 4x2 priced at, uh, well, this one at least is priced at 1.316 million pesos. Pickups at that price category, it's going to be 4x2. It's going to be using the smaller engine. They're not as equipped as this car. On an aesthetic standpoint, you can see it, it has this like new nice uh, front grille over here, this black front grille. Which I think like if I could, if I were to get like say the Wild Track, I'd actually prefer this grille over what the Wild Track has. It's just like, there's like a subtle intimidation to it. You got 18 inch black alloy wheels. You know what, looks good with this car, especially in red, that black and red combo. Mm. It already comes with this sports bar. Can't deny it. it, it looks really good. And it's very, very purposeful driven because uh, you can tie things down, you can attach things. Aesthetically, the Ford Ranger ticks all the boxes on the right direction. If you're still not sold to the idea of the engine, of the transmission, and if the aesthetics don't, you know, don't mind much to you, the highlight for me of this car is once you go inside. So to start with, it comes with a nice leather interior you know, with the red stitching and the FX4 uh, branding. But for me, it's the tech that you get with this car that's really impressive. And for me, the biggest tech I really appreciate in this truck is the eight inch infotainment system that is Sync 3 and comes with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. It just makes driving around so much easier, you know? So you plug the USB to the car, then you plug the USB to the phone. Uh, connect it to your car, Android Auto, and that's it. Uh, that quick. So instead of having an aircon, you know, aircon vent block with a cell phone holder or putting it, you know, obstructing vision, it's really nice that Android Auto has a feature where once you plug it, everything that's on the phone is here. But yeah, just to show you like how convenient it is to use this car. Take me to the office. Okay, handing off to Waze. Okay, driving work to Sedanio, Makati. Let's take E2, Skyway North. Make a U-turn, then that turn right. That's how convenient this car is, just to show you the many things you can do with this car. This truck also comes with the backing sensor, thank God, because, you know, <laughs> with a truck this size, you want, you want help when reversing. Now for driving impressions with the Ford Ranger. So a lot of people, I'm sure they're going to be saying that they should have put the 2-liter turbo, the new one, into this car in a 10-speed automatic transmission. But, and yes, they could have, but if you do that, the price will go up on this car and like it's going to lose its appeal on being a budget-friendly pickup truck that has like the amenities of like a high-end truck. For me, like uh, 
the 160 horsepower and the 284 pound-feet of torque on this 2.2 liter engine it's tried and tested you have to remember just like the other pickups they're using their technology since uh 2014 2015 so as much as ford is doing the same here it's not like nobody's doing it but more than that i think it's more than adequate for like uh for driving around the city from hauling a lot of cargo and like during the pandemic i hauled a lot of cargo with this truck with no problem no hassle at all so very convenient truck uh, i think the combination of like the tried and tested uh, six-speed automatic with this engine works well as well having used this car for two months already i have to say i'm really gonna miss the ranger fx4 because it's practical first and foremost but more than it's practical it just makes daily driving like a, a pleasant occasion you know instead of like you know okay you get into the pickup and then you know it's it's so bare bone and like you know it's so like oh i'm just a tool this isn't it's like yes the pickup is a tool but once you get in and start driving you forget that you're in a toolbox you're you start to feel like you're in a a vehicle that's meant to drive you around whether it's nearby or out far you know and and for most situations four by two is all you're ever gonna need especially if you're not you know going up a mountain or you know you're not going through like a off-road trail the four by two does more than enough for the job but where the fx4 truly shines in its lineup is what you get out of it with the amount you're spending so who should buy the ranger fx4 well it is for those who are budget conscious but are willing to spend a little bit more as long as every peso that you put in it counts and with what you get from the ford ranger fx4 it ticks all the boxes of what makes a pickup practical really good looking and convenient inside and out without being overtly expensive.